So I'm just down here in my office doing some work on my computers, right? You know, working on uh, some videos here and a few other things over there on that screen and some stuff over there. And uh, I hear this kind of scratching noise. It almost sounds like something's jumping inside the wall over here. And it's coming from right behind this monitor. And there's nothing behind the monitor. It sounds like it's actually inside the wall. So... I kind of figured right away I know what it is. It's a doggone mouse. You can hear them pitter pattering across the little ceiling tiles here. So I get my I get my little streamlight flashlight out here and took this little tile out so I can look down here and see what it is. Don't want to drop my phone down there. Yep, as you can see. Ooh, look at that. Focusing on the spider webs. Thanks, uh, iPhone 6 Plus, but that's not what I'm trying to focus on here. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Never seen it do that. All right, let's try to focus on the bottom there. There we go. So there he is. Yep. I don't know how to get this guy out. I mean, it's not like I, not like I want him to continue living in my house here, but I'd rather just set him free outside. Who knows? Maybe the cat will catch him. But either way, I don't like him in my house, so I don't know how to get him out exactly. I'm not sure what all I can do. Thought about like tying a string to a jar and setting the jar down in there and trying to get him to run in the jar, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. And then I got even more creepy. I go over here to the other side. If you look down there, there's nothing but the bones left of that one. So God only knows how long that thing's been down there. Nothing but the bones. Yeah. I always thought something smelled a little funky down here. Well, now I know. My house is just a giant mouse trap, guys. Huh. It's kind of expensive for a mouse trap. Oh well. Okay, the yogurt container didn't work, so I took an old plastic cup. Yeah, I had to put a hole in it, but a small part price to pay for not having to deal with a mouse stinking up my office down here. So let's try again. Ah, that one fits so much better. Perfect. little sucker out of here. Yes, yes, come on. Go in the cup. No. Can't go around it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. You can only go through it. Funny thing is, I'm actually using the camera <laughs> to look down there instead of looking down myself. This guy will not go in the cup, though. Come on. You can't go up. You've been trying to get up this wall. I can't believe this thing is still alive. He's been trapped down here for like the last three or four days. Just get in the cup. Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. 
Yes. Got him. Stay. Don't you dare think about climbing out of there. Don't even think about it. You little runt. Look at that thing. It's a young one. Either that or he's just so thin from not having food and water in forever. <sighs> not gonna lie, he actually looks kind of cute. But you don't belong in this house, buddy. Sorry. I'll figure out what to do with him now. So I'm down here at the greenhouses and actually gotten this guy used to me quite a bit here. He was just cleaning his face off not too long ago. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Yeah, he's just, he's just chilling. can't believe it. All I can think of is he must have been extremely weak from being in there for like four or five days. I can't get over the focus quality of this. Six close-up shots. It doesn't do too well at adjusting quickly, but man, once it focuses, you can get way up close. And he's here. Look at that. He's getting a lot more active. When I had him in that pink cup, I put just a little bit of water in it. So he'd kind of get the idea that, yeah, that's for him to drink, and he did. He drank for a good 30, 45 seconds, and ever since then he's been a lot more active. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him. I just don't have time for pets. I have an aquarium and I've kept a mouse or a mouse or two in them before. I just don't have time for it. So I'll probably end up just letting this guy go. Like I said, I don't know if he was just if he's just a young one or if he's super thin from being trapped in the wall for so long. But there he is. I can't get him to get off my hand. There he goes. <laughs> 